Hi everyone, welcome back to Maria's Ideas Teaches Us to Paint. If you have watched our videos before, welcome back. If you are new, this is a short tutorial for an episode that we film through BPTV. We film it at our studio, Jono's Art Studio and Maria's Ideas in Pittsburgh in the South Side Slopes. So we are volunteers, but we love to teach and inspire people um, to get creative. So we are going to paint this episode. We are painting, this is Morty. He's a rescue pup that our guest for episode 16 rescued him. She's also a musician. This year I'm focusing on musicians and artists for our special guests. I produced the show with my friend Alan Levine. And um, anyway, you can watch it on uh, Bethel Park BPTV in Pittsburgh, or you can also watch it on my YouTube channel, Maria's Ideas Art, right here. So let's get started. So we usually use an 11 by 14 canvas board, okay? The, the canvases are fine. I personally don't like the bounce of the canvas whenever I'm teaching and for filming purposes. You can use any size canvas or paper or board or whatever you choose. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to draw the design and you just make it fit your piece, whatever you have, and this will work the same. So if it is a rectangular shape, more like this, it will the proportions would be the same, but you can also adjust, leave more space above or below if it's a little bit more square. So what we're going to do is divide the design. Okay, we're, we're going to look at it in, in, as in sections first. So first I'm going to, I'm using a watercolor pencil. A watercolor pencil will create the lines, but they will also melt back into the paint when it gets reactivated with the water and the paint. You can use a regular graphite pencil if you choose. Just try to keep it a little lighter so that it does get covered with your paints. I'm going to do this a little darker so that you can see it, but I would suggest keeping it very light, especially for this, the grid section. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get an idea. You can measure it if you choose, but it's not, it doesn't have to be that precise. So I'm just figuring top and bottom and then side to side, Gen just a general idea of where the center is. And the reason I'm doing top and bottom and then side to side is as you're drawing the line same thing whenever you're painting something kind of look where you're going and that helps guide your hand but just real quick I'm just going to do a line it doesn't have to be perfectly straight this is just to help us draw the design and then I'm going to divide this in half and then this same thing here you can see they're not perfectly straight and then I will also do you can do the eight like this you can divide it again and then what you do is you take any picture or photograph that you want to draw and you put these equal parts whatever size that is whatever size your your canvas is it can be much bigger too you put the same amount equal parts try to get them the same size similar to the same proportion and you can transfer any design make it larger all right this is called the grid system or grid method all right, so we are going to draw Marty. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to, I drew this too, just to show you how we kind of break it down. The yellow lines represent the grid, and then we're just, it's, we're just breaking it down into geometric shapes. So you could see why geometry, maybe math helps with your art skills too. So, okay, so I want the proportions of him on the canvas large just like I do have the painting here. This was my design. I create all of the designs for the show and um, and usually they're inspired by the guests too. So let's see, we are going to draw a big circle and we're going to come over both, bend both of these lines here. So the two center columns, we're gonna drop it a little bit below here and a little bit above. So just do a circle just again very I'm doing this darker just so you can see it all right so we have a circle but we do want to give it a little bit more shape from his head so you can let's see I'm going to come in here a little I'm just going to taper this down just give it a little bit more of a angle here all right that's just his, his little face that's going to be his mouth and then let's see, we will do, I'm going to come up 
This is the top of his head, okay? And then we're just gonna come up a little bit here and a little lower on this side. So that's the top of his ears. And then draw a triangle. Well, it's kind of a triangle. What's the, uh, I'm not exactly sure what shape that is, sorry. And then we'll come this way. It's kind of like a triangle. And then that's his ears. But again, these are just the basic shapes. We will create and soften these lines to give him more of a lively expression and, and um, characteristics here that we need. So again, so this is kind of like a triangle here, flat top. Now you can get an idea of how this is coming together. Then you look at your picture and you see, oh, his ears are kind of a little softer, a little, you know, something like this. You have the inside of the ear. This ear is dropping down. It folds over. So, you know, again, the art is, is should be fun. Just do whatever makes you happy. You don't have to make it look exactly like a photo that you're working from. Usually it's just a reference just for something for inspiration. But you could see there, might want to drop this down a little bit more. So we have his ears in there and then his muzzle. I just had the, just basically like a triangle, but then I brought it up where his mouth is and I just straightened it out. So this would be maybe a little wavy line there. His nose, you could draw a circle first, but then taper, bring it in. Okay, and there's that little line in the center and then his little nostrils. So you can see it just comes together very easily and you can do the same thing with any animal. You can make this a cat, a dog, a pig, a cow, whatever. Just break it down into the shapes and then it doesn't get so overwhelming to try to draw. And then just come in and just soften those lines and, and contour everything a little. I could see his little, his little cheeks there. So you can see it's starting to come come together here and then we'll put his eyes were this this one is higher because his head is tilted so this eye is a little bit higher if we're keeping the same tilt of his head and we're going to give him some nice big eyes he's really big dark eyes very cute little morty my pencils wearing down it's the only thing about watercolor pencils they do want, want uh, wear down pretty quickly all right, so just come in a little bit, and then we'll just create a um, just a line that's his his body there. You can do just something very simple, and then his collar. We have a little bit of his collar coming around. So, and that's it. That's Morty. So the details come in when you paint paint him. Now, this I looking at his picture, I feel like okay, maybe this ear should be a little bit longer but he's there and then the flowers the uh, the horizon line that all just gets done when we paint the main thing is just if you're a little uneasy freehand painting just with a paintbrush if you draw some draw it first like this that just gives you a little help so anyway watch us um, on BPTV in Pittsburgh and that's Bethel Park Cable TV and my YouTube channel, Maria's Ideas Art. This is episode 16, Morty, and we will have the episode up. Uh, usually we film it the first Friday of every month, and it usually takes a few days to a week. So next week we will have that up, and um, hope to see you again. If you subscribe, that would be great too. And like I said, we're volunteer. We just like to help inspire others to uh, use your creativity and, and just have fun. So thank you. Happy painting.